So there folks, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, we have a council mission, I think. Did we not have a council mission? Am I imagining things? Oh, here it is, yes, portent. Uh, council mission, okay. Let's have a look. Uh, reward, one scientist, one engineer, and $150. Now then, uh, the comments said about the first medal to give it to... What's his face? Patrick Stewart, the mech soldier, for being the mech. Like an outstanding bravery medal. I'm up for that. However, first, let's us take him on a mission and test him out. Um, and we'll give him the medal if he survives. If he doesn't survive, then obviously, you know, <laughs> we won't be giving him the medal. Um, but let's at least give him a test run and see if he's any good. Can we give him anything else? No, he has no other loadout other than what he's got. Uh, so that's fine. We're going to take with us, uh, what shall we take? It's a council mission, so it's a good opportunity to bring a rookie, at least one rookie. Um, we're not going to take Van Damme, we've already got more than enough snipers. So let's clear him out and bring in another rookie, uh, which will be Chloe Moretz. There we go. Um, let's give her the medkit in the hope that we might get another support out of it, that would be nice. Um, we're bringing, we're definitely bringing Louise Post. Do we want to bring Alan Page? Uh, we could clear her out maybe and bring somebody else just for this one mission. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Let's take that make it offer. Um, and just for this one mission we'll bring somebody else. Get another rookie in there. I think we should be able to complete the mission with just the sniper and the mech alone, so it shouldn't matter. We'll bring Morgan Freeman with us. Uh, we'll give him the med kit. There we go. Uh, and that's it. We can't bring anybody else. We haven't expanded the squad size yet. So two rookies, uh, Louise Post and Patrick Stewart with his awesome fucking hat is coming with us. Here we go. Oh, God. I cannot wait to see what Patrick Stewart is capable of. I'm quite excited. We need to see what his minigun can do, and we'll probably try and punch someone to death as well if we can do that, because he's got high mobility and the punchy, punchy fist thing that we gave him. That is sat on, on there by himself. Takes up the whole side. Uh, what are we, where are we going? Paris. Paris, France. Let's launch. Oh, wow. He makes awesome mech noises while he walks as well. Cool beans. speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the Council Intel report indicating alien activity in the area. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. Okay. New objective received. Thanks for that info, Bradford. Uh, this is definitely a new map. Look at this. Oh my god. I like it. There's loads of cover, uh, which is obviously beneficial to us, but also beneficial to those dirty, filthy aliens. Um, it looks like it goes on in that direction for some distance, um, but it's not particularly wide. So, uh, I guess... I'm tempted to send Patrick on his own through this building to see what's around this side, and send everybody else up this way. Um, I think certainly getting the sniper a view down the lengthways thing is, is what we want to do. Um, so I'm probably going to sit the sniper by this bench. Um, should we do that this turn? Let's move the squad at the back first. On my way. And let's move this guy. Do we want to dash him? I don't think so. Let's let's yeah. Let's make cautious moves to start with. Um, but I will bring the sniper to the bench. Oh yeah, that worked out quite well. Um, so now she can see quite a lot of that. And Patrick Stewart. Let's have a look what he's got. Collateral damage, overwatch and kinetic strike. Okay, collateral damage was something he does with his minigun, I think. Um, ah, he doesn't take cover as well. So there's that to remember. Um, shall we send him over here? His movement range isn't as massive as I thought it would be. It's pretty good, but it's not as, as huge as we expected. Um, if we put him there... I'm on my way. Oh my god, he's even got a robotic voice. 
Uh, let's put him there and put him on Overwatch. And then we'll push in on the next turn and see if there's any aliens in there. Let's get everybody on Overwatch. I'm a bit... I don't know. I'm a bit worried because we don't know what we're facing. Um, it should still be just early stage Thin Men, hopefully. Maybe Sectoids. Nothing worse than that. But you never know. You never bloody know. Uh, let us send Chloe over here. Okay, she's still not seeing anything. Um, we will send this guy up here. And the sniper... Oh, my mouse isn't working very well for some reason. That was a bit weird. Uh, sniper... Oh, God, there isn't a particularly good spot to put her. I guess if we bring her here and then we'll move her up to where Chloe is. Um, and the mech... Do we want to send him off on his own? How much health has he got? He's got quite a lot of health for this early stage. He should be fine on his own. Uh, do we want to look in this room? Let's, let's walk him over to this door. Yeah, look, there's nothing in here. We'll send him out the door on the next turn. In fact, should we open the door? Let's open the door. Uh, he's not opening it. V, open door. He doesn't want to open the door. Never mind. Maybe he can't open doors. Maybe he just has to blast through them. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, we'll get everyone back on Overwatch. I'm starting to think we might get jumped now. I'm feeling very... Very dodgy. We haven't seen any aliens yet at all, which is very strange. Uh, I'm going to push Morgan Freeman up to this drywall up here. There we go. Thin men. So we're right. We're going to be facing thin men here. Um, he can see him, but that's an elevated target. The chances of hitting that are pretty bloody slim. Uh, let's not take that yet. Let's move some of the other people. Oh, God. Chloe cannot move anywhere useful. Let's move her up to this tank. And let us... Why can't I not move down the screen very well? What is going on? Um, I guess... Where do we want to... Yeah, let's bring the sniper to this side, because then we can use the tank for cover and then move to the car as well. She can't actually see anything yet. I think she might not have squad sight yet. Uh, mech, I guess we can push out somewhere. Um, let's move him out there. Bang, there we go, straight through the door. Oh, and he's found some thin men. They're all going up onto the roof, though, the bastards. We've got a 39, or a 59, ah, that's pretty good. What does this collateral damage do? Can we check this out? If we click Soldier Info, collateral damage, area of effect attack that destroys most cover and hits all eligible targets for 34% damage. Oh, I see. It's a free aim. Uh, range on it's pretty good, though. Pretty wide range. Uh, we won't use that yet. What we will do is we're going to fire on that guy we've got 59% of. Here goes. Holy shit. Wow. That was pretty cool. Uh, Morgan Freeman has got 45 against the other guy. He's probably going to shoot for this tiny little gap. This is going to be pretty cool. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, beautiful. Only two damage, though. Oh, bit of a shame, that. Bit of a shame. What's this guy going to do? I wonder if our mech is, he, is immune to poison or not. That's going to be interesting. Oh, wow, he's panicked. Our mech has just panicked. <laughs> so much for that bravery medal, eh? Jesus Christ. Okay. Never mind. Um, let us relocate Morgan Freeman. Or should we take the shot with Morgan Freeman? Let's relocate Chloe Moretz. Let's start with Chloe. Uh, we've got half cover by this car. What has she got from that car? 35. It's not too great. Uh, let's move the sniper then. Up to the tank. She's still got nothing. We'll overwatch her with a pistol again. Um, should we keep Morgan Freeman in position then and take the shot? I guess we should do. We... Oh, he's missed as well. Bloody hell. We're going to have to take the shot with Chloe. She's missed as well. Great. 
<sighs> God damn it, guys. He's taken another shot at Patrick Stewart, but he's missed. Hopefully Patrick Stewart will stop crying like a little babby and we can go do something with him. Um, I guess we should relo relocate Chloe again. Um, let's put her in full cover over there. 35. Let's take her 35. Wow, that was just nowhere near. Jesus. Um, I'm going to move the sniper up to that car. Can she take a pistol shot from there? 65. There we go. <laughs> nice easy kill for the sniper. Uh, I'll just quickly make a save as well. I've just noticed that used half of his ammo firing that minigun once, so reloading is definitely going to be a problem for the mechs. Uh, we're going to have to bear that in mind. I wonder if there's probably uh, something we can research that will increase the size of their clip. Um, so in the meantime, we might as well move him. Let us... I suppose we'll move him to this car, even though he doesn't make use of cover. Uh, at least he can overwatch from there, I guess. Um, and then we'll move Morgan Freeman. Uh, where are we going to move him to? Let's just put him behind this box for now. And get him on the old overwatch. There's probably a couple more Thin Men spawns. Must be down the back end of the map. Uh, can we see yet how far this goes? Oh yeah, just to there, look. So it's all going to be down that end somewhere. Uh, right, how do we want to proceed? I want the sniper behind this thing here, where this corpse is. Uh, so let's move her into place. There we go. We've got something straight away. Oh, it's gone to the roof again. I hate Thin Men with their fucking roof obsession. We need to get somebody up there. Um, Patrick Stewart, can you get onto this roof? I think you probably can. It doesn't look like you can. Why not? Why can you not climb up? Oh, that is annoying. Who's next? Can anybody else climb up there? Chloe can, but it's going to use double move. And I don't really want to do that. Moving. And we're going to have to split her and Morgan up so they don't both get poisoned. <sighs> okay. So we're going to put Morgan by this car. It might be him that ends up pushing up there on the next turn. Um, let's get everybody on Overwatch. And let's hope we can pop that thin man as he comes round. Mechs can't climb ladders, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I'm guessing, again, there must be some sort of research thing we can get that will allow them to... Um, I guess, I don't know, jetpack or climb or something. I mean, they can't be completely cut off from upper layers. That wouldn't work. Uh, we'll leave him on Overwatch in case the uh, the old thin man comes to see him. Someone's taken a reaction shot there. The new reaction shot system is a bit shit, to be honest with you. It's nowhere near as clear as it was on the first game. Uh, maybe they've done that on purpose so that you can't immediately tell if they're going to kill or not. Wow, some terrible aiming going on. Terrible aiming. He's shooting at Chloe, but she's fine. We'll put her in decent cover. Those bodies don't look like they've been hit by alien weapons fire. These men were killed by conventional bullets. Oh what? Oh my god, is there something going on here that we don't know about? Ooh. Um, okay. Well that's interesting. Um, I think everyone's gonna need to reload except the sniper. Has the sniper got visuals? No. Well, I'm going to switch her back to a sniper rifle. We're probably going to overwatch with her, I think, on the next turn. Um, let us... Morgan Freeman still can't make it onto the roof in a single turn. Which is annoying, because they're going to keep running up there to hide. Let's see if we can send Patrick in there. Oh, we don't really want to punch the Thin Man to death, because if we do, we're going to get poisoned. But I guess flanking him and taking a shot with the minigun. Still oh. Life signs in the area, Commander. What? We have a new objective. What? We need to get over there, do we? Is there something there we need to know about? 82% against this guy. Wow. Minigun to the face. Oh my god. 
That was nice. I'm out of ammo. Hostile removed from play. Um, right, let us let us reload before we go any further, because there's something going on. Um, and we'll overwatch with the sniper in case something happens. Is anything going to happen? Nothing happened. Uh, let us reload Patrick Stewart as well. I've, I've noticed there's no meld on this map either. Uh, let's reload that minigun. And then we'll move some of our soldiers up a little bit. I'm going to keep the sniper where she is, I think. Um, let's take some double moves, yes, since though these guys have reloaded. Let's get them in this building. Oh! There's a guy over there. A soldier. Got it. Moving. There is a soldier. Approach the survivor, it says. Oh my god, okay. Um, let us, in that case, I'm just going to reposition the sniper over here for a slightly better shot. Is he going to... Commander, looks like there's still someone alive over there. If we can bring them in for questioning, maybe we can figure out what happened here. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, Patrick Stewart, would you like to... Do you like to scout out the area? Um, let's just walk him straight out here. Boom, through the window. There's a thin man. <laughs> let's just put let's just shoot him with the bloody minigun. Boom! Holy shit! Patrick Stewart is amazing. Um I guess we're safe to double move the soldiers up. Uh, Morgan Freeman. We'll bring him right up to this car. There could still be thin men. Um, but I think it's safe to push the sniper up as well. We'll bring her up to this little bit of rock. There we go. And that was the end of the turn. Um, we'll bring Morgan Freeman up to this guy, I think. Escort the survivor to the Looks evac like zone. Witness to survive this fight, and for all we know, he was one of the aggressors. We need to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. Uh, okay. How 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 do we force him to to come with us? That's the weird thing. Uh, let's save because it's getting exciting, and we don't want to crash while it's getting exciting. <laughs> the hell is going on? I literally have no idea. Uh, right, can we can we select this guy and move him? Yes, we can. Okay, let's bring him up. Uh, and we'll cover him with our guys. Um, I'll put the sniper right there. And I will bring Morgan Freeman on a double move up there. Oh, he hasn't got enough... Ugh. Well, that's annoying. He hasn't got enough movement to get that far, so he just moved him as far as he could walk. A uh, bit gay, but never mind. We'll bring Patrick Stewart up the other side, in case anything tries to ambush us. Uh, I will... Should we reload him? I think we should reload him. Um, and we'll bring Chloe straight up the centre. Ah, here we go. New contacts. And he's on Overwatch. Oh, looks like there's another one dropping over here. Post has taken a reaction shot at the one on the roof. But she's missed. Okay, well if she can see the one on the roof... Oh, I've accidentally switched Morgan Freeman to his pistol. Hold on. Let's get the sniper rifle out. She can see both. Freeman can see one. Um, can he kill that one? I think there's a pretty good chance he can kill that one. There we go. Um, so she can take the one on the roof down with the old sniper rifle. There we go, beautiful. <clears throat> uh, we can run Patrick Stewart right up this side. On your order. Go, go, go! <laughs> wow, he's pretty amazing. Uh, Chloe... Is in a terrible position, um, but I guess we'll just dash her up. And then the survivor. It's only a matter of. Should we bring him indoors? I think that's probably a good bet. I don't know. 
Or should we leave him with the sniper? Is he safer with the sniper? <sighs> Let's keep him here for now. We'll put his head down. Okay. Yeah, good. Right, now we can move him up. Um, let's dash Freeman right up there. And then we can dash the survivor up into full cover with him. Uh, this guy's acting very weird. I'm starting to think we might not want to take him with us after all. Um, sniper... Uh, Overwatch is nice, but let's. I think she's better repositioning so that she can watch everything that's going on. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Where do we want to move Patrick to? Somewhere out in the open, maybe? Where he's got a good shot of the roof. Let's put him there. And Chloe. So anyway, um, Patrick Stewart panicked, as you noticed, on the on the early sort of map. I'm starting to think if we make another mech, we should pick some bum with actual decent stats. I mean, he was our test mech to see how good he is. We've got more hostiles dropping in near the near the evacuation zone. Oh, a sectoid. And the thin man. Okay. And we've lost visuals on them. We've got no eyes on them. Um, so let's scout in with Patrick Stewart. I think, were they both on the roof? If so, that's quite awkward. Um, let's start by moving him down here. Hmm, nothing. Nothing at all. I don't know whether it's a good idea to send Chloe onto the roof or not. There's no real cover up there. There's no real cover up there. Let's send. How far can we move the survivor? This is a waste of time. We can move him into full cover. Let's do that, and then we'll put Chloe there to watch him. Where's Chloe? Let's just move her up to cover his ass. She can overwatch from there. Uh, Morgan Freeman. He's not going to make it onto the roof either. I guess we'll just dash him up for now. <sighs> Should we leave the sniper on overwatch at the back? I think I'm going to leave the sniper on overwatch. So that when those guys try and get off the roof, she can just kill them, basically. Um, and we're also going to overwatch with Patrick Stewart. Oh shit, more hostiles dropping. Oh, Chloe taking a shot through the roof there. But she's missed, that's not good news. He's taking a shot. Oh, Chloe has taken three damage. And the thin man is down there with us. Oh, you bastard. You absolute bastard. They're moving to flank me. Oh, and there's more dropping in. Jeez. Um, the civilian has panicked. Patrick Stewart is there. It's such a pity we can't get him onto the roof. How fucking useless is that? Seriously. That is very bad. Louise has got a shot, but for some reason she didn't take a reaction shot last turn. I don't know why. We left her on Overwatch specifically to stop this happening. So, that's annoying. Um, What's Fremo got? 50%. Let's take that. Excellent. Excellent. Right. The civilian has panicked. Let us move. Let's move Patrick Stewart in here. Heading to that location. He can see something. They're taking a reaction shot at him. There we go. They've missed. Excellent. Hopefully we can take a shot from where we are. Wow, we can't take a shot from where we are. Can we collateral damage him, maybe? Firing on target position. I have 
one damage. Okay, not great. Um, Chloe could do with healing herself, I think. Leaving herself on three health is not a good idea. So we'll heal her up, and she can keep an eye on the target. This guy's probably going to take another shot at Patrick Stewart, but what can we do, really? He's not proven as useful as I thought he might be. Not on this map, at least. Good job we healed Chloe. She's taken another four damage. She's going to be out of action for a long time. Um... Stuart, what you got over there? Nothing. Right, reload your gun. Useless to us. Sniper. Anything? Nothing. I'm going to move the sniper up. She's still got nothing. Um, let us... We might as well reload a sniper rifle, I guess. What do we want to do? Chloe needs to get the hell out of there. So let's bring her up this side. Oh, she can still see something. Shit. Hell. Freeman, what you got? 45. That is not great. Shit. Right, we need to get this civilian out of the way. What are you trying to prove? 35. Would we be better off moving her out of the line of fire? I think we probably should. Oh no! Chloe Moretz is dead! We've lost our first soldier, people. Chloe Moretz has died. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there you go. That happened. Um, can we dash this guy over there? We can. Will that end the mission? I fucking hope so. This has been a disastrous mission. <coughs> still not getting any. He has evacuated. Kill all remaining aliens is the last thing to do. Morgan Freeman. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. The camera got taken away. It looks like he missed. <sighs> Shit. Can Patrick Stewart, like, see him if we move him somewhere else? Yes, you can see him from there. Can he kill him from there? No. Oh, come on! Realigning objects. Do we, uh, I don't want to risk the sniper by sending her up there. How can she not see him? Oh, God, what do we do? What do we do? We can't get her up there without... Without him taking a shot at her. I guess if we move around here, we can then try and make a dash for where Freemo is and shoot from there. That might work. This mission has gone very badly. We'll just leave Patrick there to soak up the damage, I think. That's going to be the best way of doing this. Uh, let's reload Freemo. Let's try another shot with Patrick. 62% now. It's finally got him. My God. Well, unfortunately, guys, we've lost our first soldier. Chloe Moretz bit the big one. We did our best to try and save her, but that, that thin man was just a right bastard. He wouldn't go down, and now she's dead. She's dead. We've lost Chloe Moretz. Poor Chloe. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind, we've got more soldiers, you know, collateral damage, it happens, it happens. We're at war, there's always casualties in war, otherwise it wouldn't be war, would it, really? Uh, never mind, uh, Morgan Freeman has been promoted to sniper again. Why, we don't need all these fucking snipers. Louise Post has been promoted to corporal, uh, which means she's finally got squad sight. Oh, God, that was a long time coming. Um, but she's got it now. She's got it now and she will be more useful to us and hopefully um, it'll help. The Defender's Medal is now unlocked. We'll have to have a look at that and see what that is. We don't know. Uh, we can do the Thin Man Autopsy. We've got a couple of corpses, but nothing else. Uh, lab available to build, we know. We got a scientist and an engineer, which isn't much, but we did get $150 we 
or fucking future books, simoleons, whatever you want to call them. We've got them. We're going to spend them on stuff. Uh, but first, let us save now that we're back from the mission. Um, there we go. Saving is done. Let us have a look at the Moriel. Chloe Moretz, no! Oh, it tells you what she was killed by as well. That's new. Light plasma rifle, thin man. <sighs> yeah. I mean, the light plasma rifle does quite a lot of damage for this early stage. Um, it is a bit annoying. We haven't got decent armor yet, so... It's the, way, it's the way it happens, guys. It's the way it happens. I was amazed we made it through the last game without losing too many people. Uh, I think we lost Justin Bieber early on last game. Um, and now Chloe has joined him in the great XCOM graveyard in the sky. So, what do we want to do now? What do we want to do now? I do not know. Where do we start? Uh, can we... I don't think we can do anything in the officer training school. No, we can't. So that's a thing. Uh, what else could we do? We could have a look at the spare snipers that we have and see if there's a better mech, maybe. Um, we have tons of these fucking snipers that we don't need. Uh, how much will has Patrick Stewart got? 29, 39. No wonder he panics so easily. He's going to be pretty much useless. Um, unless we maybe get a medal that raises his will. I don't know if that's a thing we can do. Um, and his aim's not great either. So we might have to consider making a second mech. Although, I'm not keen on the mechs, since they can't climb. Maybe we need to research some more mech stuff and come back to the mechs later, when we have got when we can make better mechs in the first place. Um, the other snipers are not much better. Sigourney Weaver isn't great. Um, who else? Jean-Claude Van Damme... Jean-Claude Van Damme's not too bad. Still very low will. Uh, Morgan Freeman, bit naff as well. I think Van Damme is probably the most likely next guy. Um, and then we're into the noobs. Yeah, I think if we do make another mech, it'll probably be Van Damme who goes in. Um, but we've also got... I mean, there's not just the mechs. There's genetic testing when we get that far as well to do the genetic upgrades. Um, so that's going to be interesting because I don't know how the fuck that works. <sighs> what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We've got 242 credits. The new we probably need to do engineers. stuff in engineering, We're don't we? Glad to have more help down here. What are our actual goals? Alien containment, we do need to build that. Research the arc thrower, capture a live alien. So alien containment is definitely something we want to do. How are we doing for that? Um, satellite uplink is coming. We want to build power here. So this slot... I think we want to keep this slot for the genetics thing. Because it might get a, a bonus with this. Always, always one a, No, one's a lab, isn't it? And one's a bloody engineering thing. So we want to put the engineering one near the foundry. I don't know. Oh, God. This is so... It's getting so confusing. We want to excavate that. That's a definite. We're going to want to excavate this and build a power station. We don't have much power at all right now. Um, so that's stopping us building stuff. So once that day's done, we're going to excavate that and build a power station in it. So there's nothing else we need to do there for now. Is there anything we need to buy? We could buy some nanofiber vests maybe for the rookies. They're not fantastic though. We're better off buying, saving the money to buy armor with. Valen is still researching. I don't know. I think we should just save the cash. Let's just scan. Excavation complete. Excavation's complete. Let's go get the next excavation going. There we go. Uh, can we do any upgrades on the mech? Is that a thing? No, we can only build new mech. <sighs> yeah, it's not been fantastic. Not been fantastic at all. Yeah, we could chop. We could. We could. I suppose we could chop Van Damme's arms and legs off. Um, how do we check that medal that we found? There we go. Defender's medal. Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. 
Make it some restorative mist heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Oh, that's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. I mean, this one, you know, it sounds like it would be fantastic on Patrick Stewart, but he panicked because he got shot, not because other people got shot. And that's always going to be an issue. He can't use cover, so he's going to get shot an awful lot. So I don't really want to give him a medal. I don't think he's going to be any use to us whatsoever. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give him the medal. I'm sorry. The commenter who asked for, asked for him to have the medal. I don't think we're going to use him. His will is just too low. We're going to have to make another mech. We're going to have to make another mech. Um, so let's just carry on scanning. We can't really do anything until this research is finished. There we go. Reaper rounds available for manufacture. I don't know what those are. Flashbang grenade. That's new. Phoenix Cannon was in before, that's for the uh, the aircraft. Oh god, that was a loud ding in my headset there, Jesus. Experimental ballistics have led to this specialised conventional weapon load. It can cause substantial extra damage to affected targets, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. The rounds will not work with pistols. So I guess they're probably pretty good for the shotguns. Uh, Foundry is available to build. We don't want to do that yet. Phoenix Cannon. Flashbang. The grenade style weapon emits a disorienting, disorienting flash of light with accompanying sounds. Any enemies that can see the blast will be disorientated, suffering severe penalties to aim, movement, aim and movement. Robotic and sonic enemies are immune. That could be handy. That could be, could be handy, I guess. Uh, could be quite handy against mutons. Especially in the late game, Muton Elites. Um, doesn't sound like something that could be that useful early game, so I don't think we want to prioritise it. What we do want to prioritise is, there's no point getting the Arc Thrower yet because we haven't got an alien containment unit. So there's no point even building that till the alien containment's up. We'd be better off going for Carapace Armour 20 days. UFO Power Source 20 days. Um... Everything is on the go slow at the moment. We could do one of the autopsies, but it's going to take six days as well. It's not looking good, is it? I suppose that we might as well get the arc thrower then. Let's get the arc thrower. I guess that'll have to do for now. Um, engineering. Build facilities. Two days till that's ready. Okay, two more days. Alien abductions have been reported almost immediately. Uh, we got a choice of Mexico, Japan, and South Africa. Uh, best reward is in Mexico, but low panic. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to go there. Where are we going to go? South Africa, Japan. What was the other one? Mexico. Mexico is fine. We don't need to go there. Um, I think we're going to have to go to South Africa. Because we've got this panic on Brazil. Uh, and they're both... Are they both on... No. Is Brazil South America? Uh, let me look at the countries. Yeah, okay. So... In that case, I think Japan. Japan's a four block and panic's going to raise in four countries if we don't go there. Whereas over here, panic's only going to raise, rise in three countries. So at the moment, I think Japan might be the better option. What was the reward of Japan? Scientists. And scientists will increase our research time as well. Yeah, okay, we're going to go to Japan. Uh, to Fukuoka. Fukuoka, is that how you pronounce it? Fukuoka? Fukuoka. I guess so. Uh, Fukuoka in Japan. Next episode. That's the plan. Um, we are not taking Patrick Stewart with us, sorry guys, um, but he's, he's turned out to be pretty useless. So uh, that's it, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.